Well, how about the geniuses over at Fox News? Well, uh, they're going to discuss what's happening with the situations with the embassies in Pakistan. There's a lot of turmoil, turmoil uh, in the Muslim world. So, uh, first of all, Dana Perino, who of course was the White House spokesperson for George W. Bush, I mean, she's going to take a very serious attitude to this, and she knows who you got to meet with and who you don't have to meet with when you're at the United Nations, which is what's happening right now, of course, in New York. So let's hear them out. A Pakistani minister offered $100,000 bounty to find a filmmaker. Dana, you know, there he is. This is a gentleman who's one of the Pakistani ministers. Mm -hmm. Where's the outrage from the State Department about You know what I would do if I were President Obama? I would have, well, one, canceled my appointment on The View or canceled my dinner plans. And I had said, demanded to see the Pakistani prime minister and said to him at the UN, knock it off now. Problem is, oh, they're okay. the ones who apologized um, for America because of a tax, a uh, United States taxpayer who exercised his First Amendment right and did a video that a crappy about video, ads, yeah, and they used it as an excuse. All right, uh, you know what? That would really work because if Dana Perino went to the Pakistanis and said, "Hey, you know what? Knock it off now," <laughs> and she shook her finger at him, listen, Mr. Pakistani, you knock it off, okay? I bet that'd really work. Because, you know, Obama's been really light on Pakistan. For example, when he violated their territorial integrity and killed Osama bin Laden within their territory, that only lit their country on fire. But he said he'd do it, and he did do it. By the way, the people who didn't want to do it were Republicans, were Mitt Romney, John McCain, all the people who said, oh, you can't violate, you, you got to be much nicer to Pakistan. You can't violate their territorial integrity that way. And whether that was the right thing to do or not might be an open question if you're an international lawyer. I think for a lot of Americans, getting bin Laden might be worth the price of violating their territory. But the idea that President Obama has been too nice to Pakistan, I'm not sure a lot of Pakistanis would feel that way. Now, it's okay, because Eric Bowling is going to take it over the top, because he's got a better idea on how to do diplomacy with Pakistan. $23 billion we've given Pakistan since 9-11. Maybe it's time to cut off the aid and maybe send a drone or two right over the embassy. What? Yeah, that is, show them! Kill random Pakistani civilians and perhaps their ambassador. Yeah, take that! Ha ha! What? That, would, that might start a war? Pakistan has nuclear weapons? They're supposed to be our ally? What? How stupid are these people on Fox News? When people watch that and go, <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Idiots, morons. That's their idea of foreign policy. You want to like those guys? Are you kidding me? You want to stand in the same room as Eric frickin' Bowling? Yeah, go ahead, vote for Republicans, see how it turns out. Worldwide disaster. Which, by the way, is how it turned out last time when we invaded Iraq for no goddamn reason because people like Eric Bowling on Fox News got everybody around. Oh my god, Iraq! Iraq weapons of mass destruction! Fuck it, let's bomb them! That's how we got into the mess. All right, Dave Kohler, uh, longtime uh, aficionado and fan of The Five on Fox News Channel. Uh, I don't know anyone who watches it more than you do, Dave, uh, so I just want to get your uh, general thoughts on The Five. Well, you're getting mixed up in this conversation with them as if they're being serious. They're ch kidding around. They're, they're, uh, he doesn't really want to send a drone over the Pakistani embassy, and then you go off and get all serious on them. And you give them way too much credit just by responding seriously back at them. What they are doing is, yeah, they're expressing this sentiment, an ugly one, that America should solve its problems by exerting its will of power and just bombing things. Yeah, he is expressed that. But it's not literally that we should send a drone and drop a bomb on the Pakistani embassy. It isn't until actually it was, right? I mean, not in the case of Pakistan, but Dave, I, I understand what you're saying. That's a fair point, right? But they get people riled up, and then what do we do? I mean, I was talking to Steve O about this the other day. He thought, when we sent the aircraft carriers, et cetera, to Iraq, and Fox News had everybody riled up before we did the invasion, he's like, come on, they're bluffing. They're not really going to invade. That's crazy, right? They wouldn't actually do that until we did, right? So, but the, and this is how they stoke people up. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah Pakistan dropped a couple of bombs. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I agree. This is part of the propaganda machine that stokes it up. Eric Bowling, you point him out as the particular idiot who said, He's just a tool in this whole propaganda machine. It's not to be taken seriously. Uh, but yes, we've got to be made aware that they're running a propaganda machine. As for Dana Perino, I really want to believe that she's not as dumb as the other, guy, uh, the other guys on that show. But she's never given me any reason to believe that. <laughs> All right, but wait a minute, Dave, to be fair, 
Uh, they got Bob Beckel on the show. He's he's a liberal, right? So <laughs> he they're actually fair and tries hard. He does. Yeah, I mean he's definitely not a liberal, but he tries to. He tries. They shout him down. They cut him off. He, he gives it his best. It's I, a tough I think job. You're, I think you're secretly entertained by that show. Not secretly. Not secretly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like most about this show? The fast pace, which is the ridiculous thing. They were discussing Medicare a few months ago, and each person had 15 seconds to make a comment about Medicare, which is an extremely complex. It's ridiculous. You can't learn anything from it, but it's fun to watch. And they try to go over the top with their stupidity. The vile, the hate for Obama, it, it's actually a little frightening, but can be entertaining to watch. And then Bob Beckel just getting steamrolled, that fat guy just getting steamrolled by those four assholes. <laughs> and you thought I was tough on the pot. 